Hey everyone, here's an experiment that I've wanted to try for a long time and someone mentioned it in the comments at my last video which uh, brought it to the front of my memory. Uh, a few years ago someone said that you could generate x-rays by unrolling a, a roll of scotch tape in a vacuum and surprisingly there's, there's been no follow-up, like I haven't seen any stories about this lately. The original research group thought that this could be a low-cost alternative for x-ray machines because obviously you could just send a a spool of tape to third world countries with vacuum chamber and, and generate low cost x-rays. Um, so I want to give this a shot. It's supposed to work by transferring charge from one roll of tape to the piece that you're pulling off so that there's a really high charge differential between the piece of tape that's getting pulled off and the roll, like potentially 50 kilovolts. And then when the electrons uh, you know, fly off the tape and hit the roll, they decelerate and create x-rays. Um, I've always been a little bit skeptical, um, but of course trying it's always better. So what I did is I, I started with an aluminum plate and put a Teflon seal in it. So I drilled a, uh, a two-step counter bore. One of the counter bores was to hold this Teflon spring-loaded seal, and the other counter bore is to hold a ball bearing. So to do this right, I should have a ball bearing on the top and bottom of the plate with the seal in the middle. Uh, but this is just kind of a quick pack job. And I put a, a take-up spool on the top of the plate and a collar on the bottom to keep it from getting sucked in. So there's going to be vacuum on the inside and air pressure on the outside. So there'll be some force trying to pull the shaft in. And then to dispense the tape, I just have a free-floating roller uh, with the, the tape roll on it. I also have my penning gauge mounted into the plate and I used a acrylic tube to seal the plate to the diffusion pump. This is the new diffusion pump that I got at Halted and it's water cooled. So I've got my air conditioner water chiller running and it's pumping water through the pump. I've got the Harbor Freight vacuum pump, uh, two-stage rotary pump, and that's pumping the chamber down. As you can see the um, the vacuum is not as as good as I would like it to be. Um, the tape is outgassing quite a bit. So if you keep an eye on the gauge, if I turn the tape roll very slightly to dispense some tape, you can see there's quite a bit of gas released. And you can see the, the gauge change just from unrolling, you know, a few centimeters of tape. So we're going to have to try this in short bursts. What I'm going to use is a cordless drill to turn the, the spool and get some tape dispensed. To check if this thing's actually making x-rays, I've got uh, the handy dandy Mighty Ohm Geiger counter and my uh, x-ray intensifier cassette uh, phosphor screen behind this whole rig. So I'm going to turn the room lights down and hook the cordless drill up to the tape dispenser and roll off some tape. And I'll do it in short bursts to try to keep the, the air pressure, well, the vacuum really good in the chamber. And we'll see what we can see. So the vacuum level is only about 2 times 10 to the negative 4 uh, tor, and I'm going to give it a quick pulse here with the drill. Well, I'm not sure you were able to see anything. Uh, I did notice some blue light coming from the tape roll itself, but not from the phosphor screen. And the Geiger counter seemed to be a little bit more active when I was unrolling, but honestly, I, I don't really see the effect all that strongly. It, it could be there. So unfortunately, this test is pretty inconclusive. Um, maybe with a better vacuum pump, I'll be able to maintain a higher vacuum while unrolling the tape. Okay, I'll keep you posted. See you next time. Bye.